Beauty school dropout No graduation day for you Beauty school dropout Miss Jeremy terms and function Hello! I'm nervous so I'm stalling. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. So, let's just cut to the chase. You guys all read the title of this video. And yes, I am dyeing my hair today. <sighs> I feel like I have a lot to discuss with you guys as to what led to this point. And yesterday, I actually tried to dye my hair yesterday too. And it didn't work because I used, I was trying to dye it pink. And as you can see, my hair is it's not pink. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna work because the box said that it was for light blonde hair and I'm clearly not. I don't I don't have light blonde hair. I thought that that would fulfill my like desire to dye my hair right now because I, I don't know, but it didn't. It didn't. I really wanted to dye my freaking hair. So we're back again today with new dye and that's it. We're, we're doing this again. Today's Saturday. <laughs> this video is supposed to go up tomorrow. Will it? I don't know. We will see. Depends on how this goes. It's about 11 a.m. right now. So far today, I showered, which we'll get back to that in a second because I wanted to try and get the remaining like residue from whatever I put in my hair yesterday, like the dye I put in yesterday. I wanted to get the remaining out. So I used my clarifying shampoo to try and like get that shit out of my hair. Did it work? I don't know. Hopefully I went to the store to purchase my hair dye. Literally the most I've left my house in a week was today. I went to the store. I sanitized my hands before I went into the store after I went into the store. I tried to touch as little things as possible. I kept my distance from every other human being in there, which there weren't many, A, and B, I do that anyways. Then I went to Duncan because how would I do this without Duncan? I wouldn't. They have the drive through open. The workers were wearing gloves. I pay on my phone because I have the app, so I literally was just like in the car like, and they said, beep, and I said, thank you very much. See you guys later. So, I have so much to say, and yesterday when I was filming, I was kind of just talking. I literally started the video in my room, which is why I'm in my bathroom starting it today, because I made the mistake of starting in my room, so I sat there for like 20 minutes and talked about my life, which when I could have been doing that while I was dyeing my hair. So today, you know, you live and you learn, so I'm gonna be more efficient today, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys while I'm dyeing my hair. So I think that right now, I'm gonna prepare the area, and then I'm going to continue talking and explain what the f is going on and what led us to this point. So I am using this dye. It is the Clairol Natural Instincts, whatever. I'm going to be dyeing my hair or attempting to dye my hair medium cool brown. I don't know if you can even tell right now what color my hair is because it looks different in different lights. Right now, it looks red. Ish. But in real life, it doesn't look like that. I don't I don't even know if my hair knows what color it wants to be right now. I'm kind of in the middle of like a dark blonde and a light brown. Like in natural light, it looks blonde. You know? What color is it? So what is the truth? In some pictures, it looks really blonde. And I feel like it just depends on the lighting. If it's like really sunny outside, in pictures it looks blonde. But if it's kind of overcast, it looks brown. I don't know. My point of doing all that was to give you guys kind of a look at our starting point. I don't dye my hair often. Why? Because my hair does not hold color. I dyed my hair at the salon when I was a senior in high school. And it lasted like two weeks. Like the color was permanent, but it lasted like two weeks. Like it literally faded out after two weeks. And then my freshman year of college, I tried to dye it at home with a box and I dyed it brown. I dyed it brown both times, but with the box at home, it literally faded in two weeks. I don't really even bother dyeing it ever, but right now feels like an appropriate time just with the state of the world in my life. I just want to stop right here and make it very clear that I am not trying to make fun of the situation that's going on right now and the virus that's going on right now in the world. I am very aware of how severe it is and how many people it has affected. My natural response to hard situations is to try and make light of them as much as possible while still being respectful. I figured that there's really not much that a lot of us can do right now about what's going on, but something that we can do is just try and put a smile on our faces and on other people's faces. So I wanted to have some fun and have fun with you guys. So I just want to make it very, very clear that in no way, shape or form am I trying to minimize what is going on right now or saying that it's a joke. It's absolutely not.
we're gonna see how this how this goes okay we're just gonna we're just gonna try our best so i have this little mixing thingy so i'm gonna put them in here and then i have this little brush that i bought from like sally beauty or something so i can put it in my hair that way and feel like a professional or whatever also i looked up a bunch of tips on how to do this on the internet because i really don't want to royally this up they told me to buy two boxes so i bought two boxes i already opened one because i was reading the directions because they said like if your hair is past shoulder length then buy two boxes and i said Oh, before I start, I'm going to get towels because I don't want my parents to disown me for staining my bathroom. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna use beach towels because we're not going to the damn beach anytime soon. Alright, so now that we have our surface, I am going to put everything in the little blue bowl and mix it. set up the camera. Maybe I'll put you over here. One second, please. All right, I look even more like The Walking Dead from this angle, so that's good. So the instructions basically just say to kind of free for all it, but that makes me super uncomfortable, so I'm not going to be doing that. I looked up on the internet, of course, because the internet, we all know, is always right. I looked up on the internet what the I'm supposed to do like what kind of you know method should I do and they said to section my hair into four parts so front to back one side in front of my ear and one behind you know I'm just trying my best here oh my god then they said to start from the back and also to not do your roots right away so all right so they said to start in the back which honestly is probably fine because the back's gonna be the hardest I'm just gonna get some of this on here and I'm gonna just go for it because that's what they said to do Literally the directions were like if you're applying it all over your head, then just apply it all over I said what the f okay great first of all the directions said to do this on Unwashed hair. I said, okay. Well, here's the thing. What does that even mean unwashed? for how long and there was nothing. There was just no clarity. Give me clarity. No clear direction. I said, okay. Well, the problem is I have to wash my hair because I just simply have pink dye in it right now. That didn't actually show up, but the residue is still there. So I have to wash that out. So I washed my hair. I already broke one of the rules, okay? Also, if you watching this are a cosmetologist please don't come for me in the comments i am not a professional and we all know this nobody comes here for cosmetology or hair styling or beauty advice in general nobody comes here for that and there's a reason for that this is the first time i'm ever doing this by myself typically when i dye my hair my mom does it this is my first time so please let me be okay thanks let's just talk for a second about what led us to this point so i think that we're all aware of the current state of the world. We're in the middle of a global pandemic. We are practicing social distancing, which side note, you know, the government calls it social distancing. I call it my everyday life. My college closed its physical campus and we're supposed to go back in April. That's pending, obviously. Damn it, I forgot to put Vaseline on my head. I knew I was forgetting something. You're supposed to put Vaseline on your head when you're dyeing your hair because then the color won't get onto your face. And that's because we don't want that. Who the f wants that? Not me. My school is closed. Right now we're doing online classes as are, I feel like most of the colleges in the United States. Like I said, it's Saturday. So I just finished my first week of these online classes. To say that morale is low would be a bit of an understatement. I am somebody who really needs structure in my life. I have anxiety, which most of you guys probably already know. And something that helps me in my day-to-day -day life is just having structure, having a plan to follow. You know what I mean? I'm just somebody who really loves structure. That's all the time. Like I always like to have a plan. So with this currently and having online classes and it being such a new thing for all of us, everybody's kind of just trying to figure out what's going on. Things with school in general right now basically are up in the air. There's a lot of question marks. There's really not an, any structure and it's not good for me. Also, 
I have left my house a total of like three times in the past week and they were to either go to Duncan or today to go to the store to buy hair dye. I haven't had physical interaction with any human beings besides my family that lives in my home for a week now, which is fine because that is what we are supposed to be doing right now is the whole social distancing thing and I understand completely why we're doing that, but I'm lonely as shit. I'm really getting lonely and I love my family, but I've been lonely. So let's talk about what led me to want to dye my hair pink. So I was thinking, you know, hey, I'm going to be probably not going out into the world or really seeing anybody for the next, mm, who, who knows how long. So I'm like, if I dyed my hair, and if it was like a temporary color, then people really wouldn't see it. So that led me to order. Okay, I need to open this so I can see the back of my head. That led me to order pink hair dye on Amazon. Like I said earlier, I kind of went into it knowing that it wasn't gonna work just because the dye that I bought was for blondes and I don't know if I'm blonde or not. If I am blonde, it's a very dirty blonde, but I didn't really know if it was gonna work. I was thinking no. I put it in yesterday after I had a really, yesterday was just a, a lot. I'm really jumping around here. I'm aware, I'm sorry, but all of these thoughts just kind of run together when I, you know, reviewing them in my head. So yesterday I had one class and I'm pretty sure that my next week's vlog is gonna be a week in my life of online classes it I filmed it last or this past week so you guys will see what I'm talking about kind of but what I've been doing recently since I've been so not sure what to do with my life and I have all this like stress and all this confusion and there's just so many question marks I've been channeling my energy into learning TikTok dances and yesterday after class I decided I wanted to learn this one TikTok dance and it's the one that's like <laughs> You know what I mean? That one. That dance is pretty freaking hard. Not even gonna lie. So I learned it yesterday. Very proud of myself. I got ready because I wanted to actually do like a video. And first of all, I kept forgetting the dance, even though I had already learned it. Like I was like, okay, bitch, like you know this. Why are you acting like you don't know it? I kept forgetting the dance, which was irritating in itself. And then on top of that, I could not for the life of me find an outfit that I thought I looked good in. I was getting so down on myself and feeling so insecure. It, it was a big just downward spiral of negativity if you add that to all of the stress and confusion that's been going on especially in the past week oh i probably should have put the vaseline on the back of my neck too i think i was supposed to do that but i forgot i laid on my floor for a while i don't know i just felt so overwhelmed i felt so like about myself and then my friend sydney texted me which she has a youtube channel since vids you guys probably already know who she is. She texted me yesterday and she knew that I bought pink hair dye from Amazon because I told her and she texted me yesterday and she said any updates is your hair pink and I said well no but that's a good idea right now so I decided yesterday to do that whole thing so I filmed it what am I doing with my life on camera it looks like there's actually color in there my hair is getting crispy. It's getting crunchy. Okay, so in my defense, I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna work. Oh, and let me just, let me add this too. Forgot to mention this. This is the third video that I have filmed for this week. The third one. I had one filmed. It was kind of like a vlog type of thing, but I didn't like it. I didn't start editing it because every time I thought about having to edit it, I got really upset and I was like, I really would rather not do this. I was like, I'm not, I don't like this video. I'm not passionate about it. I don't want to post it. So then I started to freak out and I was like, okay, so that's great and everything, but what am I supposed to do for this week's video? So then I was like, oh, perfect. I'll dye my hair pink. That yesterday was the second video that I have filmed this week. Nothing happened to my hair. I mean, maybe there was like a very, very subtle tint of pink. In conclusion, last night I decided I wanted to dye my hair brown. And I'm like, you know, I really just want to change. I'm so bored. I am so lonely. And that's not even to say that I don't have things to do. I'm bored, but I have things to do. I just haven't had any type of motivation to do things. And I'm like kind of at one of those points, like that happens here and there when I will just absolutely feel like I want to do nothing but I know I have responsibilities and things to do, so then I don't wanna do any of them, but then I get stressed out and anxious because 
I still have responsibilities, you know? Like, ugh. and then that's just a big snowball effect too because I get down on myself because I feel like I'm being not productive. I decided I wanted a change and there's really limited options at this point to what I can do for that. I kind of just wanted a sense of something different because every day has been pretty much the same. Oh, f this is getting all over my neck. I've made a grave error. A f grave error. Shit. Oh hell, oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. We're just gonna see if I can salvage this at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Who the hell is at my home? Oh, it's my grandma. My grandma is here. She is dropping off stuff and I'm pretty sure she's just like gonna drop it off and leave. I have really solidly f***ed everything up right now. Oh great, this is awesome. I honestly feel like I don't know how much more I can do. Like I feel like I've truly saturated every ounce of my hair. Oh my God, my neck. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes. Okay. And now we wait. It's all over my neck, dude. Oh! Dude, it's just getting worse. What do I do? Oh, well, <laughs> this is really awkward. I really want this to work because I really want my hair to be this color. I chose a brown color. I think it was medium brown, but it's like a cool medium brown because I wanted it to be ashy. Like I didn't want it to be golden brown or whatever, but my hair just doesn't hold color. So if this even does work, it'll be in there for like probably two weeks tops. But it's enough to make me feel better about my life. Anyway, so that's just really what's been going on lately. And thanks for listening. Hi. Yeah, the lighting over here is so much better. I'm just gonna stick with that. All right, so I'm just gonna wash this out and then I think I'm just gonna wait for my hair to air dry because I don't want to blow dry it. Well, if it starts taking too long, then I'll blow dry it, but I hate blow drying my hair because it makes it very frizzy. And then I wanna style it and then put makeup on and I'm just really excited. So we're gonna do that later after I wash it out and everything. I will see you guys later with the results. I always wanna throw up a peace sign. I don't know if I should stop doing that because it's annoying or continue doing it because... Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. What the f*** is up guys? It is Hannah, welcome back to my channel. Oh my. So quite literally, the only regret that I have is that I didn't get this in a full permanent dye. I mean, like I said earlier, my hair does not hold color. So they probably both would fade out the same exact way, honestly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I am so freaking happy with how it turned out. Are you joking me? You guys. Wait, I actually did this myself. I physically cannot believe I did this myself. I feel like it brings out my eyes so much. I love it. I'm obsessed. I also took a really, really good selfie. I'll insert it. Literally the saddest part is that I know it's gonna fade because I don't want it to fade. I want it to be this color forever. Maybe I can just never wash my hair again. That's gross. I'm not gonna do that. This is exactly what I needed. This was so therapeutic and for it to actually turn out well, that's everything that I needed and more. This was such a freaking good move on my part. At first I was like, is this gonna be a good idea? My hair before, I always complain about how much I don't like my hair and you guys leave me like such sweet comments like I love your hair and I'm like, thank you so much, but I keep looking at it and I'm like, it was just so boring and so dull and it just gave me eh vibes. Like eh, like eh, eh, you know? And life is too short to be accepting those weak vibes. That's not what I wanted. So I wanted to change it up and I, I love it. I feel like it went from eh to bam. What is up? Hi. So I'm really happy with it. So glad you guys could come along with me on this journey. So with that being said, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stay until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday-ish. Unless something happens, which 
has happened before, so you never know. And if you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if for some reason I can't post exactly at my normal time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you get notified exactly when I post a new video. I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.